I'm Keith Merrill, chair of our major project committee. I have with me three of our team members, Eric Long, Larry Fiesel, and Nancy Acker. This is our monthly update to our membership, and uh, we want to cover two areas today, our new administration office area, and our, of course our golf club, clubhouse area. We're going to start off with Eric talking about where we are with our new administration area. Thanks, Keith. I uh, just wanted to give you a little update on our administrative building. Uh, starting very soon, you can see we've already cleared out some of the space. Uh, we have two locations where our staff is. Uh, half our staff is in the um, pro shop area. So you have Cheryl, Krista, Jade, and Taylor are located in our pro shop area. So they'll be there for the next uh, five to six weeks. And then our another support staff, which is myself, Denise, Aga, and Travis are located at the Racket Center and we'll be there for again five to six weeks until this project is completed. Uh, what's going on with this project? We'll have uh, on the outside is the exterior. Uh, it's going to be more of the stucco material. It's going to go around the exterior portion of the building. Uh, we'll update some of the landscaping and then on the interior portion we'll uh, replace the uh, flooring. Uh, we'll paint the walls and some of the offices are adjusted a little bit and then uh, right in the, as you come in the front There'll be more of a welcoming experience for our owners to uh, showcase what we have here. So uh, it's going to go nice and smooth and pretty quickly. So uh, we'll give you updates as they come along. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eric, for the update on the administration building and new offices. Well, as you can see behind me, the Portica Share structure is virtually completed. The dry-in is complete of the roof of the portico chair, and in fact, the entire roof of the clubhouse dry-in has been completed. Up on the top there, you can see the parapet wall, and behind that is where the HVAC units, exhaust fans, and so forth will be mounted on the roof. The parapet wall will be dried in sometime at the end of this week, and on that will be stucco, and then it will be painted to match the roof. The roof tile is expected to start being delivered uh, next week, the early part of next week. So you'll begin to see a lot of work, finishing work on the roof. Now I'm going to turn it over to Larry, who's going to talk about the mechanical side of the, of the project and what is going on on the roof area. Hi, we're standing in the east uh, parking lot of the golf clubhouse in front of the two 100-ton uh, air-cooled water chillers that I spoke about earlier in another video. These will be moved very soon over to their permanent location on the east end of the golf clubhouse, and we'll move over there shortly to, to see that location. Moving over here to the uh, my right, these units right here are very near and dear to my heart. Uh, in earlier videos, you've seen Eric, when he gets in the kitchen, he starts talking about kitchen equipment and his eyes light up and he gets all excited because he's a, a chef. Well, this is what I did for a living and I get excited when I get around the sheet metal like this. These are the exhaust fans that will be at, uh, attached to the kitchen exhaust hoods. They um, will be sitting on a 18 inch high roof curb and they will have a discharge height. This ring right here, it has to be 40 inches above the roof minimum for code compliant. The air comes out up vertical uh, in these up blast exhaust fans. So these will be moved soon to the uh, mechanical penthouse along with the mechanical equipment and I'll talk about that here in a few minutes. All right, we've now moved over to the east end of the golf clubhouse and this is the area where the water, uh, air-cooled water chillers were going to be located here soon. They are the units that provide the chilled water that goes into the air handling units. We have 42 degree uh, leaving water temperature from those uh, chillers going up to the air handling units, the cooling coils, which provides the air conditioning and the uh, ventilation for all of the golf clubhouse. This is the area where they will be located. We right now have a block wall around the, the surrounding. It will get stuccoed and painted to match the building and there'll be landscaping around in front of it so that the will tend to be go away. It won't be as visible once it gets landscaped and, uh, and stucco on it. Okay, we're still at the uh, east end of the golf clubhouse. This is where the air-cooled water chillers will be located and these are the chilled water lines. One is the supply line into the building the others return line back out, so it's a, it circulates in and back out to the chillers. Okay. Thanks, Larry, for that update on the mechanicals. Next, uh, I'm going to ask Nancy if she would update us on how we're coming internally in our various rooms. 
Nancy? A lot has happened in the inside of our clubhouse and the outside, but right now we're going to talk about the inside. I'm standing in the Lakes View Room, which will have a glass sliding door and be private if you should like to have a uh, intimate dinner party or it can also spill over for us like we did into the water side. So right now, it is the lake view, which is exactly what we see. And here we are moving to the area. I'm now just outside the lake view room into our beautiful new dining room, with dance floor, and gathering spaces outside. Uh, this room will seat over 200 people and we have room for uh, 30 or so people to sit in lounge chairs among fire pits in each of the four sections uh, on the terrace. We have moved now into the Pelican Pub. The bar will be an oval shape and there are passages to the outside. Uh, this room also able to spill over if we need it or us to spill from the pub into the dining area. There will be uh, seating outside. Uh, again, my favorite place to be is going to be the outside area which we will talk about and look at in a minute. We are now just outside the bar where there will be bar stools at accessible from this area outside. There is plenty of seating here and into the pavilion, all under cover seating. And we will be able to have uh, food delivered to us from the pavilion area, which takes the place of our outside view. Now we're standing in the pavilion up above us, right now it's open, but it will be under cover. And there will be 50 or so chairs and tables to sit. No need for an umbrella here because it will be covered. And outside over here also, more chairs and no, no need for umbrellas. However, moving to my right, there will be plenty of seating with umbrellas and over by the pro shop again many many more tables and umbrellas so i feel like this will be our major gathering space it's just going to be gorgeous with its colors and the views and the openness everybody wanted to eat outside when we had the outside grill now we have space for everybody who wants to do that Well, I want to thank the team for their update today. We'll continue month by month to give you a monthly update. The project continues to be on time, within the budget. We have about 30 change orders that we've uh, agreed upon, positive and negative, which is typical of any project. And we still have $110,000 in contingency. So we're doing well. Again, if you have any questions, concerns, or any comments, you can direct them to any member of our team. Thanks a lot.